everybody doing? Kristen Jewell here. Thanks for joining us on Uncut Jewels. We're so psyched that you're here. It's always very strange starting these because you're alone. But I'm really glad you're here. So hopefully you guys are mobilizing and grabbing a cocktail of some sort or a cup of coffee if you've got a big night ahead of you or like me, my trusted glass of club soda, sparkling water which I know it might not be the best thing for me, but I love it so much. Anyway, um, thanks for joining us. Today we're gonna be talking with the Gold Souls and we're really excited to talk about their official music video, which released recently, and we've got their director with us too, so we're psyched for that. And then also, if you wouldn't mind marking your calendars, we're trying to adhere to this every week on a Tuesday schedule. Um, so next week, we have a bit of a treat we're going to be doing, sorry that I keep touching my face so much. I've got a fan right next to me because it's like 105 degrees here and I don't have air conditioning. So this is me schwitzing. I'm looking, I don't know, a little, I'm a little peaked, but it's okay. What can you do? Um, keeping it cool here. So anyway, so next week we're going to have Jessica and Ruby, Jessica Childress and Ruby Bell come and talk with us about uh, how things are going and their mental health. And we're gonna take a little bit of a deeper dive in how things can, uh, how people are staying sane as much as you can or not during COVID. Um, and then after that, we're going to be having Shelly and Eve, Shelly Pikin and Eve Nelson, who uh, will have released Shelly's album, debut album, 2.0, etc., cetera, uh, on August 28th. So we'll have them come in on September 1st to talk about the production for that. So, so anyway, we're really excited that you're here and we're excited that we're here because things have been super nutty. Um, so hopefully you all are staying safe. And uh, if you're in California or any place where the fires are, you are, um, yeah, out of harm's way. So, but uh, right now we're gonna talk about actually Northern California's finest Sacramento based band, The Gold Souls. I'm gonna have Juniper and Billy join me. Hi guys. Hi. Welcome back to Uncut Jewels. Yeah, Thank you. Thanks for having us. I'm so excited. I think you and Hamish are our two double uh, terms. So that's exciting. Thanks for doing it. Yeah, you're in it. Um, how have you guys been? How have you been holding up? I know the fires are up there. Everything going okay? Yes, we're okay so far. Knock on wood. And it's 107 right now, but we do have air conditioning. I feel <laughs> for you, lady. That is and so nuts. It's nuts. <laughs> yeah, I looked at my watch. I was like, 100, huh? Okay. And that was like two. I'm like, this is going to be fun. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you guys are okay. It's definitely uh, going to be at least two more weeks, I think, of this kind of weather. So it's just get through it. Um, but I'm so excited. So how's it been since we released the music video? How's things been going? I know you guys did the Rockwood show. That was amazing. Everybody loved it. Nice. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah fun. If you, if you guys haven't seen it, they, so they took over the Rockwood Facebook page recently. Um, and you can go over and check it out. I think it's also on their page too. Um, and I know it's on Un Uncut Jewels and Jewel Concepts. So yeah, please go and check it out. It was wonderful. Um, I think uh, everybody was like, um, we're not gonna have a full band and a backdrop and all that <laughs> after the show. I was like, it's just them. They're so good. So it was a good time. It was super fun. Yeah, I felt yeah. like we, sometimes live streams can have kind of like, I don't know, sort of a static perfectionist air because mm. like, oh god this is this is live but it's also recorded people can watch it later and sometimes they get a little nervous about that fact of yeah. it but 
Yeah. Um, now that we've done a bunch of live streams, I really was able to let go of that this time. So it was a loose set in a lot of ways, but it had much more of a live show feel, feel. to it. Like we really kind of rocked out. So that was fun. That's good. Yeah. I mean, I think that's the hope is that like, it be, you know, this isn't going away. So, I mean, you, right. it's great. At least it has that feeling. I think people, from everything I've heard, people tend to enjoy those moments, you know, where it's not perfect as yeah. well. So, I mean, it could just be a, you know, overall, a, sort of like a timestamp for you to look back on. Yeah. I mean, and nothing's intimate. perfect right now. Like when you see like even big bands and all sorts of famous people that, you know, like to put a really perfectionist yeah. thing out there, like in this time, no one's really, really succeeding. Yeah. So yeah, no, that's for sure. That a little differently right now. Yeah. Which no, is cool. It allows for experimentation. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of experimentation, this music video, man, <laughs> this was a real feat for you guys. This, I was so impressed um, with how this all came through. So why don't you talk a little bit about the genesis? I know we, you know, obviously you release a single and you want a, some kind of a video to go along with it. Um, but is there, like, was there a catalyst for like how the idea came about? Um, yeah, I mean, we, uh, <laughs> we uh, met with uh, Jason, who'll be coming up in a little bit here, um, shortly before the lockdown, a couple weeks before, just to like brainstorm and uh, kind of get some ideas going. And we were thinking of like maybe some like heist movie or, you know, one of those movies where there's like a bunch of different plot lines that all kind of come together at different moments. We were like tossing around some different ideas. And then we got locked down. We're like, all right, none of that stuff is going to work. So just throw all mm, that. Yeah. You know, so, and I had always yeah. wanted to do a music video where we were cartoons. I've been trying to get a cartoon music video for like two years. And so. <laughs> That's crazy. And so finally I was like, you know what? It's your cartoons? time. Cartoons. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, um, so you planned COVID. It was all you. Yeah. <laughs> Conspiracy revealed. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, why don't we bring on, so speaking of just all of this, we have Jason with us who actually came on to help direct. And yeah, hi, Jason. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Welcome to Uncut. <laughs> yeah, so we, we're so excited. So how did you guys meet? The I think we met through Lauren LJ, if I recall correctly. Yes, our amazing photographer. Okay. Shout out all of our iconic photos. The got it, um, the got it photo oh, with the umbrella so in front of the love that. Um, what's it called? Mural and the convertible photo, and all yeah, nice. much, almost mm. all of our photos have been taken by LJ. And yeah, so we asked her, Who's your favorite local videographer? and she said. Hands down, Jason. So that's great. Wow. <laughs> that's yeah. a glowing referral. I Definitely. love it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Nice. So that worked out perfectly for you. So you got, and I remember when there was some talk about how like we were going to do the video and then it was like suddenly there's, you were in the mix and it was all before COVID. So you guys were able to meet in person and talk about mm -hmm. things, right? Yeah. And then we what were. happened? <laughs> COVID. <laughs> Uh, it was funny because I remember like we were having like a text chain back and forth and like I remember like after like COVID started we're like well I guess we're not doing the video anymore or, like or we have to find <laughs> some other idea. Another way. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. We just kind of let that sit for a week or two just like letting the acceptance sink in and just like you know that that first couple weeks was we're really just focusing weird. on finding some toilet paper. Right. Exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God. That's but yeah, true. yeah, that was. I don't know. Some kind of cloud parted, and we we're like, okay, we we should still do something. And so I remember I was like, would you still be down to do something, even if it wasn't what our original idea was? And you're like, yeah, totally. Yeah. So. It was fun. So maybe it was that's like, a... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. No, go. It was like I, I think it's like the like one of the most interesting art projects, so to speak, I've ever worked on. And I mean that like in the best way, because there were so many mm. separate people that were a part of it. And like, it's so crazy with the internet now, how you can have someone you've never met in person, create something for a video that you're going to eventually connect together eventually. 
It was a really cool, like, like they got to shoot video. I went out and shot like one of their live streams. There was artists from all over the world that animated. Like it was just a cool, like amalgamation of like yeah. all of these things together. That's great. Yeah, and I was gonna say, maybe can you talk a little bit more about the like the process? Cause I know we had, so Johannes, I don't know if we can show the video while we're all talking, um, but if possible, we won't have the sound on cause I think it'll be too distracting, but maybe you could talk a little bit about some of the pieces and the process and how we got to these places. And I know we have like one question like at, off the top of my head was just like that, wh what's the significance of the bird? Cause we love that like, that sort of the angle of everything too. Like was there, talk to a, just like even the point of view, you know? Um, so like these shots here, I didn't have, have any affiliation with. These are all shot. Um, <laughs> by Juniper and Billy. And I think every member shot themselves. Anything that you see with the the members isolated was just something we had talked about how they wanted to do it and they had full creative control to do whatever they wanted. And, but then I think that right. you guys all gave, you, you know, you all, I'm pretty sure that everyone gave their animators pretty much what they wanted as well. So each, I think each member of the band had full creative control over it. Mm -hmm. Right. So what I understood, right, Juniper and Billy, was that you guys shot your own stuff on an iPhone and yeah. then mm -hmm. ported it in so that we could have. And then the then what happened? Didn't you guys choose animators? Obviously, there's six uh, different animators, I think, that worked on this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we went on Fiverr, which was I had never really used that website before, which I think was mm -hmm. a suggestion of Jason's. Um, and. That was really cool, just kind of, you know, going on that website and kind of like shopping around for, for artistic talent that way. And uh, mm -hmm. such an interesting, you know, presentation. Um, and yeah, so, you know, Juniper and I kind of looked around and like we just looked at like, we just searched like animator and like looked at like, mm. it was like 40 pages of or something crazy like that. Like we spent a few, good few hours just sorting through all the different stuff and we made kind of like a top 25 or something like that that we sent out to the band and then they all kind of, you know, picked their favorites from those. And then we started reaching out to people. So it was like a lot of, a lot more like communicating and, you know, exchanging ideas with people than, than the previous music videos we've done. Have been. So yeah, it was yeah. like really, uh, it was a collaborative effort on like a lot of different levels, even just kind of all the conversations that had to happen just so, you know, to get, five people in a band to talk to six animators and all this stuff, so. Um, Do you remember where the animators um, came yeah, from? Kind of where they were process. global, right? Uh, yes, yeah, the, we had a guy yeah. from the Philippines and... Uh, Singapore, yeah. Italy, and... Someone from Italy? Wow. Yeah, mine, mine is <laughs> Oh, cool. And then yours is... American, right? But she's like, yeah, she's from. She's, she's like originally Korean. from somewhere else, yeah, or something. Mm -hmm. She's me. Mm -hmm. Anyways, yeah. So you know, but yeah, it was it was it was cool that people kind of were from from all around and different backgrounds and, and levels of experience. And so you have all these different animation styles, which like the band members kind of chose. Like I remember Jace was like, I want mine to be sixteen bit or whatever. So you know, we went and looked for the people who would do mm -hmm. that kind of like video game style animation and. Darius has wanted his to be like boondocks or like, you know, kind of like anime styled. So we tried to find someone who could do that and all oh, this. Oh, that's cool. But then this whole bit that's playing right now is done by Sacramento's own uh, Broncos Latar. Um, cool. And he's a badass. Like, you know, he, he had a really big, probably of, of almost of anybody, he had probably one of the largest undertakings for the pro for this process here, him and, uh, you know, Jason had to assemble it all, which was no easy task. We were there for it, but, <laughs> um, yeah. but Bronco had to create like, you know, a minute and a half of animation, which is a lot of work, you know, going through and drawing every little detail and adding the color and all this stuff. So this whole sequence and everything, um, yeah, he absolutely crushed and he was recommended to right. us. Oh, I can't remember who recommended Space well I don't know if she had recommended him to us, but Space Walker, who's a local musician here, had her music okay. recommended by oh, him. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So basically, yeah. from what I understand, so you had one idea, you switched it up, brought in Jason, and then everybody found the animators, and then everybody shot themselves, 
And then Jason, you had to compile all of that. Mm -hmm. Is that right? And yeah, but I mean, they, the band made it super easy. Like they had a shot list and time code where they wanted stuff to go. Like mm -hmm. it was, it was, That's it was great. easy. Like, and then we were, thank God for the internet. We were able to just to communicate back and forth and, and send ideas yeah. back. And then I could send it to him and they could be like, well, can you make this change? And it became like a lot of back and forth, but we didn't have to meet in person for, I think we did one in-person meeting where we all wore masks or two mm -hmm. in the house in Oak Park. But like most of the, everything we did correspondence wise was all done online, which is amazing that you can do that now. You can create a video. It's like how you can make an album where you can have your drummer lives in California, but your guitar yeah. player is in New York and they can record on Pro Tools and send the sessions back and forth. It's kind of cool that yeah. we can do that now with video and because those files are huge. Sending them is no easy task. Yeah. And didn't you, you did also shoot Sacramento, right? At night, you went out and yeah. shot. We all got the, city. the car together, and I was holding my camera out the window, and we were speeding right. down down J Street. I think we did it three times, and then uh, I also shot them when they did their live stream uh, when they were playing outside. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was a, that's great. Yeah, I love that footage. Looks right, yeah. that was for the that was for the jam in your van. We uh, jam in your van. Yeah, repurposed yeah. content. <laughs> Yeah. It's funny during those those whole live full band shots, you can just see like the bass drum of the drum kit, but I'm just like Billy's yeah. yeah. knees. My kneecaps get the music video debut for sure. Yeah, during um, that time I was like, Where's Billy? <laughs> I remember looking at him. Back something, man. I, I tried to get a couple of shots of him, but like I had to adjust the ND filter as I went, which is like sunglasses for your yeah. camera lens. And when I went, when I pull out, like it was, there was so much like dynamic difference with sunlight and darkness. It was hard to get all the shots to be consistent. I think yeah. we have some, I don't know. I just don't think we used them because of where the animation happened to fall versus right. where I got shots of Billy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That was yeah, probably actually, one of the greatest things, yeah. just figuring out how to like make each thing go into the next thing, you know, like the transitions, you know, there was so many different things that I had to transition. So, um, yeah, Jason had a bunch of cool ones like set up, you know, so all the kind of motion between like on my bit, I'm like playing and kind of, it kind of looks like it's like glitching out as the backbeat hits on the drums and stuff, yeah. which was a cool effect. And then it like mm -hmm. switches into this like ocean scene joint. So yeah. That's awesome. Um, was there anything unexpected that happened that stayed in the music video, even though you didn't, ex you didn't, you weren't planning for it to be in there? There's a guy that's like walking during our oh, live yeah, in the background. God, a guy in the background who like looks over and then he's like, yeah, he's just like, <laughs> yeah. but he like starts nodding his head. Yeah, yeah, he's like, okay, I'll deal with that. Yeah, dig it, I dig it. Yeah, I remember seeing that. I'm like, why is that? That's funny. Yeah, <laughs> but what can you do? We were trying to get footage of J Street empty because when COVID had first started, I had yeah. I think I, I had gone out a few times to like Old Sack and there was no one, no cars, no people, and so J Street right. was like that too. But every time we drove down J Street, there'd always be one car hanging out just in front of us, yeah. and like one behind, but then like no other cars anywhere else. So we we're just trying to get one shot of J Street. That's I think that's why we did it three or four times. We right. were able to succeed. We also were really into the old spaghetti factory sign. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think that did make it in, unfortunately, but what did it say? Uh, old sp spag fact. Yeah, old spag fact. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Half the words. Which is going to be my industrial metal band coming spag out factor. pretty soon. Uh, spag factor. I love it. And, so, okay, well, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say that uh, we, so we, we were filming going down J Street, which is one way, right? And then, um, and then I told Bronco, when you're animating the butterfly or the moth or whatever going down J Street, um, include Harlow's, which is like this venue that we used to play a lot. Play and, yeah. um, and he did, but he had the moth flying up J Street, like against traffic. Which I thought was like a funny, cool detail for just for yeah, some. yeah. That's real. Oh, little in the know. Mm -hmm. That's great. A little Sacramento peeps. I love it. What's your favorite part of the music video? I mean, besides you. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute, though. <laughs> mm. 
I don't know. Do you, you have have Jason, what was that? I said, do you guys want to go first? Whoever has their favorite part in mind should go first. <laughs> yeah, I got to steal on it. I have. I one. like a lot of it for different reasons, but I couldn't. I don't think I could yeah. pick a lot to think on it. Oh, I really like it when the full band comes in at the end. Like I love the full band, like when you're live. But then I like when the animation comes in because it's it, everybody's been separated and then it like just joins together and you see yeah. like everyone's. That's cool. I love that, and I like the animation at that part too. And yeah. I do like the street. <laughs> yeah. I think my favorite is probably Jace's. I just like that 16-bit, like, just out in space, like the spaceship coming up to the sun. That's a cool one. Yeah. Like, you go and you pause it on, like, when when his little ship approaches the sun. That animator put, like, a lot of these really cute little details in there. Um, oh, the Easter eggs? Like, the sun, like, 7.8 billion years old. And, like, uh, you know, it has, it has yeah. like, that diameter and, like, the temperature and all this, this stuff and, like, Inside the spaceship, there's like these little plants and stuff and glass jars, which like I don't know if any of you guys have seen the movie Wally, that like the robot movie yes. from Pixar. Yeah. Like, or something. That movie. Yeah. So that whole movie, like they're just like, trying to find this little plant in a jar that's like that like they're gonna like, you know, repopulate the earth with plants because it's like a big dump or something. That's right. Um yeah. yeah, a lot of environmentalist overtones on that movie. But yeah, it was I thought it was fun that that guy like included the little plant from Wally like on Jason's spaceship. Yeah. Like that one has these yeah, little kind of Easter eggs and stuff in it that I like. I, I just like that attention to detail that animator did. That was cool. That's cool. He's a keeper. Yeah. <laughs> Give him a nice fiber <laughs> rating. Right, exactly. That's a bizarre beasties. Yeah. Bizarre beasties shout oh, out. That's great. The animation needs. Yeah, that one was a cute one. I do like the one that you did though too with your hair like that. That was just super fun. The yeah, uh, that was, so, uh, so squid red. Yeah, that was that animator's idea, uh, Maro. Yeah, she she uh, she sent the first kind of like cut to me of like what you know. I gave her like my idea or whatever, and we all kind of like wrote out our ideas and talked to our animators individually and stuff so that it would be like okay, for each band member, you like, you know, you're in charge of getting your idea to like through to your animator. And, uh, but I did not, that was one part of the thing. Most of the other stuff, like, oh, have some people up in the top swimming or yada yada was, was all yeah. stuff I suggested. But then when she showed me the first like kind of sample and it went down into the ocean and I had the script, I like freaked out. I was like, that's so cool. Like that's such a neat, okay. Such a good idea. I just, that was like a super original idea on her end. So yeah. She, and she, she used a puppet it. to like to animate oh. the drumming, which is why he's so like. <laughs> yeah. Well, you have to do so extra smart. motion to get the volume if you're underwater. It's the only. Yeah. yeah. You do a lot of <laughs> motion, you know. There's a science to it. Right. It was. That was cool. It was based on physics for sure. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> There's like what one little Jennifer? detail. Oh. oh, sorry. Go ahead, Jason. There's, there's Jason. one little detail that I really love, and it's uh, it's in Juniper's animation, and her character snaps, and it's on the backbeat, and it's just the like the way it's done. I just it's such a small thing, but I think it's one of my favorite parts. The way that part, that whole animation transition happens, and then that's that snap of the backbeat like solidifies the animation starting. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The color really changes when she snaps. Cute. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's neat. For sure. It is neat. So many cool styles of animation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's just, uh, that's a fun thing. Like, as musicians, like, we get to experience that a lot, you know, like, like melding our styles with other, the other people we're working with. Um, you, I mean, you have to, you know, like, you can't be like, okay, here's a group of five people and we all sound like we all have the same idea of what, you know, what's what in music. That never happens. So, you know, it, that's something like we're used to. It's kind of blending flavors between the different art, the artistry of the different people. But I feel like with uh, cartoons or like music videos and stuff, you don't get that as much, you know, like where it's like, Oh, here's a little co contribution or the idea or the kind of particular unique style of, of such and such artist, And then you get to feel the effect of them all coming together. And that's something that we, yeah, we experience a lot in music, but I feel like you don't get to see very often in music videos. So I thought hey. that's definitely one of my favorite aspects of this, of the whole concept. I agree. Yeah, no, it's a good point. 
Yeah. yeah Jason and Bronco are both also musicians, um, which was cool to get to work with people in the video who like yeah. who really get it. sort of connect the music, to connect the visuals to the to the finer details of the music. Yeah, it's like the yoga. Yeah. Lady, Bronco. Oh yeah. The yoga lady, where she's like, it's like, -na 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 and she's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, totally. So yeah, good. I talked to him about that, and he was like, yeah, man, I heard that part, and I had all these weird ideas I wanted to do, but you guys had to like, <laughs> like keep it. But he was like, he, he was like, his, he said his like imagination really went off for like that particular. Uh, like that section, it's kind of just like a weird breakdown. It's kind of different sounding the rest of the song. And he was like, "All right, like let's make this, like, let's make it freak out a little bit, you know?" Yeah, you ran in. I can see that. Did he tell you this when you ran into him? The other yeah. Day? So after that Rockwood live stream, we did it at a uh, Sack Rehearsal Studios, which is where uh, the Remedy Review is located. Um, that our keyboard player Alex and his roommate Josh are running. Um, mm -hmm. And, but you know, a ton of other musicians are hanging out there too, because it's still like the rehearsal space for a lot of people. And so we were chilling, watching the sunset after the live stream. It was like, one thing with these crazy high days is the sunsets have been quite nice. Yeah, right? Yeah, true. And it was Billy, Alex, and Jace all standing at the van watching the sunset. Right, and so Bronco is like at an adjacent vehicle, kind of, you know, maybe 20 or 30 feet away. And he's like looking over a little bit, and then he's like, hey, I made your music video. And I was like, oh, dude, it's you. Like, what's up? You know? never met him in We've person. never met. Yeah. So, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's so crazy. Kind of do a little 10 feet apart conversation with him about that. Oh, yeah. After that rock was going. It was cool kind of hearing some of his insights and stuff um, about what his process was on the whole thing. And, yeah. yeah he's uh, like, I drew you. Right. I, you. Totally. <laughs> I made you. Right. <laughs> A mini you. <laughs> yeah, man. A different type of you. Yeah. Right. <laughs> what would you call that? What is, what is that? Like a 2D? Right. Yeah. 2D. 2D. Yeah. 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 2D yeah, version. Totally. That's yeah. cute. Oh, that's great. That's yeah, that's fun. funny too. That section he animated of us all together, the, the one you're saying you liked when it like first shows the band all together. Is yeah. He based that, the picture or the video we sent him for that was this one we did, uh, Cider Sessions. Um, one of the Cider uh, Sessions videos we did, which is this, this really cool guys here in town that uh, for before the whole COVID thing, were getting bands to come out and they were just doing like, you know, like they were filming and fully recording like three or four songs from each of these bands and like cutting together these videos all for free. You know, like they're just like, if you'll come and play for free, we'll do all the rest of the stuff for free. And like amazing, you know, yeah. kind of this mutualism sort of a deal. And so it's yeah. funny, um, just... The way he he drew me with like the dude like I had just gotten my hair Juniper had just done my hair like before we did that thing oh, yeah. so my dreads were all braided down and like in a little like do rag or whatever you know and so it's funny yeah. he drew a cartoon which I only ever wear do rags right after I get my hair done so it's funny how he like he drew me and it's like the little do rag and stuff and like the, the so opposite like, of switch rags. right exactly <laughs> yeah yeah two looks holes of like hairstyling for that so it's fun yeah. That's fun. That was great. No, you're right. I mean, look, it's a, it, you know, when you look back on this time, I think you're going to have something that just is so meaningful. It's not just the love letter to Sacramento. It's like a global exploration and how you can handle at home productions. You know, I mean, this, Absolutely. I thought it was so innovative and just in, ingenuity. Like every part of it was like, let's figure this out. Let's figure this out. You know, it, it was just an atypical thing. I mean, I know there's a lot of people who, since then, I've seen, you know, other people have done animation videos and stuff. It makes sense that that would be the default kind of idea for a lot of people. But this one was such a hybrid where you could, you know, in, you know include the real life piece and have the transitions be meaningful for each artist and for each within the band and then have it come together as an extra overlay for Sacramento. It's just like, it's just high level. And again, you know, five years from now, when you look back on this, it, as much as it maybe you'll know it was done through COVID times, it still stands on its own as a smart concept video, in my I opinion. Hear it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I thought it was really great. It's really, really good. So, okay, I know we're at the 30 minute mark nearly. Um, is there, what do you guys got going on next? Let's see, so let's talk with you. What, what are you up to? Are you doing more of these types of things? 
I would be happy to. I, I did do a music video for another artist named Heather Evans recently, and we had to keep the group small. So it was me, her, and her husband, and we mm -hmm. had six hours to shoot the whole video. So like that was kind of difficult because we didn't have a lot of time and they have kids and the whole thing. Uh, but I also work as a music teacher, so I've been teaching from home, which is not my favorite way to teach drums because drums are loud and people slam them through their AirPods. Whenever I get, you know, get to hear my students' drums come back to me through AirPods and they're all like hyper compressed and distorted and yeah. uh, latency yeah. Yeah. speeds up yeah. the drum part and slows it down. So they sound like a machine gun and they're slow and it's hard to like get an idea of like how well they just played that thing that we're working on. But yeah, yeah I'm, working, I'm working on a few projects right now. I just did an overnight cool. shoot for Safeway. That was a long night. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Be safe. That's crazy. <laughs> Overnights. Never have of that. That just changes your body for at least two weeks. Especially <laughs> when you wear sleep. a mask the whole time inside a store that's mm -hmm. lit by fluorescent lights. Ugh. <laughs> that would give me a migraine. <laughs> yeah, man. And Juniper, Billy, you guys have some, you have a, what shows do you have coming up next? I actually freeze? don't have and oh did we? Um, oh, yep, we're here. We're Are we back. good? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> that's the freeze test. You guys didn't know. We don't actually oh, have right, we... anything coming up right now. Yeah. We're taking a Got little breather. So I do rem... mm -hmm. I was gonna say guys, I think you were working on I, I remember the two new singles that you're working through, so at least. So yeah, hopefully we'll be back yeah, with some more news on that. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Yeah, That's sure. great. Very cool. Well, I'm so grateful that you guys were able, I mean, look, like we started this. Do you remember when this started? Was it April? No, March. March, yeah. When you guys started shooting, it was March, yeah. So August, think about that. Like you did really, really well. And thank you all for being such amazing partners as we did this release. This was so yeah. much fun. And if you guys haven't watched it, obviously you saw that without the sound on, um, but I would love it if you could go and give it some love on YouTube or Facebook or wherever you get your music at this point, just show it some love, maybe make a comment, share it with your friends. Um, you know, it takes a village, so we need all of you to help out, uh, but we're grateful. I thought it's a smart video, I'm really psyched for you. We didn't talk about the moth. Oh yeah, what was the story behind that? So the story behind the moth was that it was the one thing that tied all of the animations together. So even though every animation was a different style, obviously, different color palette, different everything, um, every single one had this, oh man, I don't know, my computer keeps going to sleep. It's like, why can't you tell oh. I'm doing something? <laughs> um, but, um, it's, it was this black and yellow moth that was just kind of floating through the shop. Yeah. At first I thought it was a bumblebee. <laughs> yeah, I mean, fair enough. Maybe it's a moth, maybe it's a butterfly, it's maybe a it's, bird. A bee. it's a bird. It's a bird. It's a plane, yeah. is it? <laughs> yeah, but it was great. Yeah, you're right, because it kept going in and out of all of the things. It's funny. Mm -hmm. oh. And so that it's was so clever. Uh, meant, that was meant to represent how you know, we're social distancing, we're disconnected mm -hmm. in a lot of ways, we can't hug our parents, we're, you know, we're mm -hmm. far apart, um, but how we're all in it together. And, and it was meant to represent kind of our collective imagination. So, yeah. um, and kind of our collective vision of what can be and what will be, you know, and then it culminates in that backyard party where the band is playing and everyone's together and um, there's a big crowd in front of the stage, you know, which is yep. like our most treasured thing that we can't do right now, you know, being in a yeah. big crowd of people sweating on each other and cheering, you know. Loving like, each other and hugging each other. And yeah. Yeah, oh, I know. Dancing oh. and breathing on each other. I know. The idea of Coachella sounds so foreign to me now. I know. Yeah. Just anything. Oh yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Whenever I see a video of like a big crowd doing something, I'm like, oh. That's not <laughs> happening. Yeah. yeah, that might take a minute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
I mean, it's going to be interesting to see where this all nets out with the live shows in general. I think, you know, you know, I feel like I think a lot of people are thinking hopefully like mid 2021, but obviously it's, you know, it's going to be a question mark for everybody. Like, how can you get around? It's not just that you can do shows. It's like the whole thing. So, yeah, yeah this was a, a posterity moment done right. Yeah. We miss it. Yeah. Uh, well, that was good. That's great. Thanks for reminding me. I was like, I knew I asked that question before. <laughs> Just kind of blew through it. <laughs> well, you guys stay safe. And thanks you again. Well. And thanks, Sarah, for putting that uh, link up for everybody. So please click on it. Uh, do our little community duties and have some fun with it. And uh, thanks again to you, Jason, for all of your help with all of this. It must have been yeah. a, a, a big undertaking so and thankfully you know these guys are really buttoned up but still it's a lot of oh, they made it super a lot of work easy. yeah that's great well that's good to hear. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> all love. Thank you, Kristen, for all your help and everybody at jewel concepts for oh yeah well coco was super into it she was like big loves that stuff so shout out coco <laughs> she's so helpful yeah, yeah. so cute <laughs> we love her yeah. All right, you guys. Well, let us know. We'll be back with hopefully more music with you soon, and we can't wait. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Jason, Godspeed. Take care of everybody, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Thank you guys all for joining us on Uncut Jewels, and uh, we'll be back next week. Mental health conversations. So you never know <laughs> how that's going to go. <laughs> all right, y'all. All right, you guys. Take see care. See you guys later. Bye. Thank you.